Hi guys, this is Potato Review and today I'll be making a review of Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man powered by Revoltech. This Spider-Man out of the box. And now we're gonna take a peek what's inside the box. For now, let's look at the box. What's on the side of the box, front and the back. Side of the box, here's the posing of Spider-Man crawling on a wall. And on the back, it got a comics, a comics-like strip, pose uh, with Spider-Man poses also. On the other side, there's there's a line there. I'm I've missed this, and I swear I'm never going to take it for granted again. Okay, so that's it. Here's the front, and on the down, this what's in. With great power comes great responsibility. Okay. This top of the box. Okay. Alright. Okay. So let's open the box right now. So now here's what's inside the amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man. It comes with a stand. You can post Spider-Man with it. You can put you can put Spider-Man at his stand by putting this on his back. Just like that. See? Right. So there we go. Okay. <laughs> just a just a quick quick sneak peek. Here's Spider-Man. On with the stand. The stand comes with like this. The ones you can hold him if you don't want to put the the pointy back the points the pointy one on his back you just put this on his weight or wherever or whichever part you want to hold it it also comes with a a peg ah, no, a joint from a ripple tech all right see okay right Okay, so here's some more of what's inside Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man. Here's the re 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 his re this is his re this is so this is Spider-Man's replaceable eyes. It got three sets and one more. That's all, what's already in his face already. See, yeah. Spider-Man got also a, a bendable web, web, web. So this one first. See, it's bendable, so you can form whichever poses you want with it. Okay. It also has a long web shoots. Okay. Right. Also, it has a small web shoots. Okay. 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 So Spider Man has three sets of hands, replaceable hands. One is the closed fist. The other two is the grabbing, the grabbing web, web shoots. Okay. The other two is like a shooting shooting hands shooting for web hands yeah rock and roll so you can replace the stand with this if you want 
Uh, but this one is fixed. So much better if you use the other one instead of this. I don't know. Maybe you're gonna put him on just a standing pose. You can use this. He also has a magnetized uh, magnetized stand. Uh, you put it in, it in his back and then you put on the refrigerator maybe or metallic object. So it's, it's gonna look like he's climbing it or going down from it. So this is what we used for replacing his eyes. Okay, so I'll show you guys how to replace his eyes. Okay, let's pop up the head first. Okay. So when you pop the head of Spider-Man, there will be two parts. Uh, one on the back of for the back of his neck and then the, it's like a circulating for back and the front of his neck. There it is. See? See? Oh, sorry. See? This one goes in, in his back. This one goes in his front. Okay, so guys, you see the black part? That's where you push the eyes to put it out like so. See, so his eyes are now popped out. So you can replace it with other eyes. Let's try to use this one, the closed eyes. Okay. So what do we do? What will we do is just push on. Okay. Wait for a while. Okay. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is just you push the pointy ones to the hole and there you can do it on the other side also same same process just push on the black ones and the eyes will pop out so I kind of like the uh, the normal eyes that spider-man has so I'm just gonna use that instead of this and also uh, spider-man comes with a manual so you know which which accessories to put to wear like spider webs okay. right so let's put on the head again spider man okay, so here's spider man standing let's try to look his size height Spider-Man stands at six, almost six and a half. Yeah. So let's try to check his articulation. So Spider-Man can turn his head 360 degrees. Yeah. All right. See it. His arms can go up to here and can bend his elbows up here see very nice okay so his arms are double jointed see okay so you can go like this yeah Elbows can go up to there. Right. He can go, his head can go up also like this. And can go back. That way. And his, his neck can go up forward. And move back like this. His torso can go up to here. And goes back up to there. So what you can see, his, 
his torso are hanging so if you pose it like that uh, be careful because this will pop up see there's a gap and also when try try to moving his joints be very careful because I can see that if you move it like this forward see the joints open up so we need to be careful about that maybe this will destroy his joints or something or anything. I don't want to do that to him <clears throat> so his legs as you can see this one can go to the other side a little and this one can move also could, can, could also rotate 360 degrees yeah so this one has has a rotation until here only uh, maybe 180 yeah 180 if you try to move it 360 maybe the paint will be smudged uh, it's gonna be a problem with the paint his knees can bend up to here oh very nice this is a really poseable figure his feet uh, his feet can rotate like this see okay ankle can move forward towards that only and then towards back like that also toe toe bend yeah until here yeah you can see that okay okay guys so let's look at the detail of spider-man color separation of spider-man is metallic blue on the thigh upper leg back of the arm and forearm on the side of the torso and on the ab side the back there's metallic blue also the red part are the head neck front of the torso back arm back forearm hands and the lower leg and also the pelvis the upper pelvis this one this hanging one it's all red so the red part has black lines uh, black markings the black markings was carved onto the body of spider-man so when you take a photo it won't look like it's flat that's good so the emblem called uh, the emblem color is black and the detail is popping out ah it's like embossed okay all right see okay the color of the emblem of the uh, spider emblem on his back is red and it's also carved and it's popping out so the color of the web shoots are white white no no it's off white and there's a shade of some grayish maybe yep can you see or maybe just comment below what you think it is but it's a bit off white yep if you do like this review don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys Does whatever a spider can a spin the web any size catch a fish or just that size all kinds